Kratos has a beard, a son, and an empty wallet. That means you have an empty wallet, and nobody wants that. Thankfully, I'm your friend Pat with the leaderboard, here to tell you how to quickly fill your coffers with more hack silver than Kratos can possibly carry. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be a part of our notification squad. So just what are the most efficient ways to nickel and dime your way to hack silver salvation? Well, sharpen your Leviathan axe and step into the abyss as we teach you how to get cash quick in Sony Santa Monica's latest romp through God of War. Loot everything. This first tip might seem a little obvious, but bear with us. As all you skull-cracking seniors know, the Norwegian hinterlands are positively brimming with opportunity for loot and luxury in every corner. Financial restitution is often met by diligent explorers brave enough to venture off Midgard's beaten path. Hack silver can be found everywhere, from small wooden chests, tables, and hanging clay pots, to the figurative coin purses dangling on each and every enemy's waistband. While these rarely yield a significant amount of hack silver by themselves, they're fun to destroy, and more often than not, you'll find secrets and collectibles hidden amongst the rubble. In fact, you can snag anywhere between a hundred and a thousand hack silver for defeating God of War's ferocious foes for the first time. So don't be shy about swinging that axe at anything that dares to move. Don't be a hoarder. Remember the old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure? While some might feel compelled to keep any and all artifacts scavenged throughout your father-son bonding trip, in truth, you're better off selling them to the highest bidder. Beyond providing some interesting lore, they serve little purpose in-game beyond helping line Kratos' coffers. Simply hand them over to the blacksmiths Brock and Sindri, and you'll be swimming in Scrooge McDuck levels of coin before you know it. In fact, this sentiment rings true for any and all unwanted armor, enchantments, and resources weighing you down. Sure, there's no carry weight restrictions in the game, but there's also no reason to hang on to gear that rarely gets used either. Best of all, nothing in the game is missable, meaning all you completionists out there can take a deep sigh of relief and rest easy. Anything sold can just as easily be bought back, albeit at an increased price. The blacksmith bros are running a business after all. X marks the spot. Of course, there are plenty of other ways to earn hack silver for those with a soft spot for Kid Kratos keepsakes. Most intriguing are the 12 treasure maps to collect, each marking a spot for unearthing valuable items and ungodly amounts of this seductive silver stuff. Beyond untold riches, treasure maps are one of the best ways of obtaining rare materials, enchantments, and artifacts, all of which can be sold for a pretty penny should the players choose. Needless to say, these bountiful booties are well worth the investment to explore and complete. Too bad you can't trade in that silver trophy achievement for finding all 12 for some additional savings. Looks like little Atreus will have to settle for a community college. Before we move on to the next cash cow, I want to remind you that the leaderboard gives away a console every week. To enter our weekly console giveaway, go to www.leaderboard.nyc slash giveaway and log in with virtually any internet account like any of them. For your best chance to win, you're going to want to subscribe to the leaderboard on YouTube and sign up for our email updates. You can also follow us on social media and tell your friends about the giveaway for even more chances to win. Love the luck stat. Before you do any meaningful farming, you're going to want to take a cold, hard look at your luck stat. Luck has many uses, from increasing the activation chance on perks and enchantments to providing increased XP and, you guessed it, hack silver gains. As one of the rarest stats in the game, there are only a handful of ways to manipulate this most noteworthy of numbers. First and foremost are a couple armor sets you'll want to don that leave our gallant godslayer luckier than a leprechaun. By completing the Hammerfall and Anatomy of Hope favors, Kratos gains access to one of the best luck-boosting armors in the game, the Tears Lost Unity set. Both Brock and Sindri's Royal Dwarven digs prove just as potent earned upon the completion of the Hail to the King favor. Next, you'll want to make sure you've plucked and consumed both Yggdrasil's Dew of Luck items. There are only two of these modern marvels in stat-boosting botany to obtain, both found while lazically rowing the Lake of Nine. Lastly, there are various pommels and enchantments for Kratos' Leviathan Axe, like the Weighted War Handle or Curved Grip of Restoration, both of which can be purchased at the shop. Those lucky enough to have pre-ordered the game will want to make sure to slap the Luck of Ages talisman on, which increases the luck stat by a whopping 10%. Leisure cruise at the Lake of Nine. With Lady Luck on your side, you're finally ready to take a deep dive into the Lake of Nine for the most manic, money-making scheme Midgard has ever seen. To kick things off, you're going to want to take Kratos' new favorite toy, the Leviathan Axe, and toss it straight into the water. Yep, 
Just chuck that sucker far and never look back. This will awaken the world serpent, Jormungand, effectively lowering the lake as he slithers off silently into the distance. Next, it's time to slap on some sunscreen, pick a beach to shove off from, and let the father-son fishing trip commence. Simply sail around the Lake of Nine, looting barrels and bodies floating in the water, and watch kid Kratos' college fund fly. Seriously, robbing the dead? Where is your honor, Kratos? If you're lucky, you might even snatch up some Aegir's gold along the way, courtesy of Atreus' innate gift for sussing out glowing gold rings. Once you've come full circle and busted every box, simply restart from the most recent checkpoint to start the whole shebang from scratch. Don't be surprised if you discover a couple new landmarks and side quests along the way, which in turn provide additional opportunities for hoarding Hexilver. The Halls of Mifflheim. Those that prefer the chills and thrills of dungeon diving might want to consider braving the misty mires of Niflheim instead. Keep in mind this ridiculously difficult realm holds some of the most relentless monstrosities in the game and is only unlocked after finding four of the seven Niflheim cipher pieces scattered throughout the world. Once you've gained access, you'll quickly learn it's one of the better spots to farm Hacksilver, not to mention the dungeon-exclusive currency Mystecos, which is great too, because you'll need the latter in order to craft some of the best gear in the game, needed for felling some of the most nefarious, optional bosses plaguing the Nine Realms of Norse mythology. So what exactly is so nice about Niflheim? The demented domain features randomly generated areas, teeming with treasure chests just beckoning for a reckoning. Simply run in, loot like mad, and get out for easy Hack silver by the thousands. Simple, though there is just one catch. Kratos and company can enter for a limited amount of time before receiving the proverbial boot, losing all loot gained in the process. Only when leaving via your own volition can you keep every knick-knack nabbed, making this one of the riskier farming methods on the list. <laughs> Where are the boots of Hermes when you need them, am I right? Still, for the bold and the brave, we find the benefits of dual farming for both Muns and Mist Echoes far outweighs the potential loss of a few failed runs. Ogre Antics. Were the last few methods too tame for your liking? Want to put Kratos' battle prowess to the test? There are a couple farming methods that focus more on combat rather than exploration. In the quest to help Sindri recover Fafnir's whetstone, head over to Fafnir's storeroom to a room with the dude's salty spirit and a duo of ogres. The trick here is to heroically take out any one of the humongous heathens, loot its corpse, and then let the second play hacky sack with your ashen corpse. Once defeated, Kratos will respawn, having maintained all hack silver and materials earned from the first bludgeoning behemoth. As expected, repeat this mindless slaughter until the desired amount of funds have been gathered. To save some time, remember to equip your bearded brute with your weakest armor set possible when facing the second ogre to ensure a much more hasty death. Whoever said speed and greed didn't go hand in hand. The coveted cliffs of the raven. Looking to attain a decent chunk of change during the early onset of your adventure? There is a nifty locale at the cliffs of the raven right after gaining access to the boat that lets players farm roughly 3k a minute by simply hack and slashing the same reaver ad infinitum. After each fell of the fetid fiend, simply pause the game, select restart from checkpoint, and watch as your supply of hack silver soar higher than the mountains of Olympus. Well, where it used to be at least. R.I.P. Zeus. Hey, it's me, Pat. Did you know that every time you click the bell icon, a Pat gets his wings? <laughs> I tricked you, now I'm in heck. In a related note, the leaderboard gives away a console every week, and you should totally get in on that. So go to www.leaderboard.nyc slash giveaway, find out how to do that. I'm gonna stay in heck. This has been The Leaderboard, your home for video game facts.